bind her arm, her wrists together, and then you are gonna wrap her like a mummy. But make sure she can breathe. Okay. We're not allowed to take her breath away. We don't actually want a Lazarus moment here. So you start doing that. While you're doing that, I'm gonna keep talking, guys, because I know I don't know what time it, we need clock in here. <clears throat> huh? Okay. All right. We probably should be moving ahead. Um, so I want to show you an example of how Jesus loves you so much that he's not going to let you go. We look at Instagram. You guys, right? We look at Instagram. So many of us have our Instagram accounts. I know some have let those go. But even if you spend, say, 10 minutes on Instagram, maybe you spend three hours on Instagram. Instagram's not inherently a bad thing, right? It's not a bad thing. It kind of keeps you in connection with people. You get to post some pictures. I got to post the baptisms that happened. I mean, it was, it's a good thing. But let me tell you what happens, guys, is when you start looking and you start scrolling and you're looking at somebody else's airbrushed, edited life, and we keep scrolling th through, seeing how many friends they have, how many followers, how many likes they have, and all of a sudden we sit there and we go, man, I wish I had their life. I wish I had their life. First of all, you're just seeing the face or the mask. You're not seeing the full, the full picture. You might think you are, but you're not. Man, I wish I had their life. If I had their life, I'd be happy. You don't even realize that sometimes while we're going through day to day and that we're praying that God wants to set us free, that the sin has enslaved us, he wants to set us free. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. I know. You need to. We're going to be here all night. You got it. You got it. Go on. Get worried. You got to keep going. Um, God's saying, watch me. Watch me. <clears throat> In your everyday average life, I have no idea what it is that every single day has you wrapped up. Because I don't know. What is it in your life that has you wrapped up? What is it that as you walk out of that tomb, that God is saying, Lazarus, come out. I just shared with August earlier. Think about this. Jesus could have said, come out of the tomb without putting a name to it, and every dead person would have walked out of the tomb. That's how powerful Jesus is. Do you get me? He could have done that. Jesus didn't do that. You know why? Because he wanted to call Lazarus by name. Just as he wants to call us by name. And he doesn't want us just to walk out of the tomb with our eyes still covered. He's calling your name. He's saying, come out of the tomb and not just come out of the tomb, not just come out of the tomb, because the devil would like us just to come out of the tomb and then stay like this. That's what Satan would love. He'd love that. Because when our feet are bound and our hands are bound and we're all wrapped up on our face and we have a mask on, we don't live in the full glory that God has called us to live. <laughs> have you ever, though, sat down to read your Bible and everything around you distracts you? You know God wants you to read the Bible. You know he wants you to dig in. And yet, you just kind of half-hearted going through it. Because we're just all wrapped up. We're all bound up. We're not living the full victory, the full freedom that God wants us to live in. He wants us to live godly relationships, you guys, with each other. He wants us to live in harmonious community with each other. There's nothing better than with God's people. If you were there Saturday night, I talked about that. There's nothing better than when community, God's community, comes together. We're almost done. And when I have you come up, there's glory in what's going to happen. You know Lazarus had been dead for four days. So bad that his body actually began to decay. The worms had already started coming through his body. I mean, it's what happens. That's exactly what happens when a body decays. If you don't know that, Google it. Ooh, it's kind of gross, though. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Sometimes we're wrapped up and we're in bondage. You guys, we're in bondage for so long that we forget what it feels like to be free. Anybody here ever forgot what it feels like to be free? I bet right about now, even though she's only been wrapped up for just a few minutes, it's very quickly that we forget what it's like to be free. Yeah? You gotta go home like that. No. You walked? Like this. He went, he went, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> he went, hopped. Maybe he hopped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So many weeks of being who you know. Sometimes we forget.
forget what it feels like to be free. <laughs> and I got to think Jocelyn right now is forgetting a little bit on how it is to be free. But when love, hey, listen, guys, when love won't let go, when love, Jocelyn, won't let go, there's, there's freedom from all of that. You might only be just a little alive right now, sister, but you can hear the voice of God. Story, but in the story, Jesus does not leave Lazarus, right? In this story, there were two people that loved Lazarus, like many people probably. But we look at his sisters, which were part of his family, and Jesus, right? There were a few people that loved. If there could be three, three, we've got to stick with girls because we've got to stick girl girls. Sorry, you're, no, we can't do that. Uh, three girls to come up, and I want you to start taking this off. And i got to think, can we just envision, wait one second. I want you guys to just vision, you guys envision right now. That moment when Lazarus was dead, Jesus said, Lazarus, come out of the tomb. And he walked out. And Jesus said, go take his linens off. Take them off. Imagine the miracle that is happening. I don't want us to be goofy right now, girls. I want this to be a moment. And I want us to really try to visualize this. What it must have been like to be Lazarus' family and friends. Standing there, watching the linens come off. There's got to be a little more excitement than that. You think? Do you guys think? Like, I think, with Lazarus, you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, can you even imagine back then? That here's that, I, what was Lazarus thinking? Beautiful. Beautiful. Can I just, can I just put this in context to your life? I don't think any of you guys are walking around with a bunch of ace bandages on you. Some days, no. Some days. Zach, I know you August, you athletes probably are a little bit. Okay, thank you, ladies. Have a seat. I don't think you're walking around mommy butt though. But can I just tell you that you are, you are walking around in bondage, wrapped up if you're not living the full glory of what he's called you to live. You see, love won't let you go. Love won't leave you alone. God is pursuing you. When we talk about what we talked about Saturday night, being a Genesis 1 or a Genesis 3 Christian and what that means, you see, God's called us to be the beginning of the story. He's made us in his perfect image. We do not have to walk around all wrapped up. And when we let that happen for too long, we forget what God can do through us, in us, and with us. We forget it. i got to think that that moment, that probably felt a little bit good getting off right now, right? Imagine four days. Four days. And Jesus says, Lazarus, come out. And by the way, take that wrap off. Because he's alive. And he's not just a little alive. He's not just a walking dead. He's not just a half a miracle. He's a full miracle. He is alive because of what God did. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Let me have the worship team come up and just get ready. Do you hear him? If there could be three... Three, we've got to stick with girls because we've got to stick girl girls. Sorry, you're, no, we can't do that. Uh, three girls to come up, and I want you to start taking this off. And I've got to think, can we just envision, wait one second. I want you guys to just vision, you guys envision right now that moment when Lazarus was dead. Jesus said, Lazarus, come out of the tomb, and he walked out. And Jesus said, go take his linens off. Take them off. Imagine the miracle that is happening. I don't want us to be goofy right now, girls. I want this to be a moment, and I want us to really try to visualize this. What it must have been like to be Lazarus' family and friends standing there, watching the linens come off. There's got to be a little more excitement than that. You think? Do you guys think? Like, I think with Lazarus. You excited? <laughs> Seriously, can you even imagine back then? That here's that. 
What was Lazarus thinking? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> can I just can I just put this in context to your life? <laughs> I don't think any of you guys are walking around with a bunch of ace bandages on you. Sundays, no. Sundays. <laughs> Zach, I know you August, you athletes probably are a little bit. Okay, thank you, ladies. Have a seat. I don't think you're walking around mummy butt though. But can I just tell you that you are, you are walking around in bondage, wrapped up, if you're not living the full glory of what he's called you to live. You see, love won't let you go. Love won't leave you alone. God is pursuing you. When we talk about what we talked about Saturday night, being a Genesis 1 or a Genesis 3 Christian and what that means, you see, God's called us to be the beginning of the story. He's made us in his perfect image. We do not have to walk around all wrapped up. And when we let that happen for too long, we forget what God can do through us, in us, and with us. We forget it. i got to think that that moment, that probably felt a little bit good getting off right now, right? Imagine four days. Four days. And Jesus says, Lazarus, come out. And by the way, take that wrapping off. Because he's alive. And he's not just a little alive. He's not just a walking dead. He's not just a half a miracle. He's a full miracle. He is alive because of what God did. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Let me have the worship team come up and just get ready. Do you hear him? <laughs> 